the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? So, I apologize for my voice not sounding so great. I am a little bit under the weather. Nevertheless, I wanted to share this game I found with you. A small talk at the back of beyond. By Script Dweller. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, that name sounds familiar. Script Dweller. You probably saw the uh, videos that Markiplier did on his other games. Deep Sleep, Deeper Sleep, and The Deepest Sleep. And yes, those are a, a series of games that uh, play into each other. And they are really fun. I actually did play uh, The Deepest Sleep when I was practicing before I officially started this uh, YouTube channel. And... I wanted to give one of his other games a shot and show you guys. Uh, obviously this game's a bit old, but so what? If it's a good game, they stand the test of time. Right? Right. So, let's get into it. Now this game, you're, you're really just typing. You're trying to figure out a way of escaping through communication and wit. So let's see if I'm witty enough. <laughs> Are you able to respond? Yes, I am. Yes, hello. I'm sure you have many questions, but most of all, I'm glad you're okay. You're probably disoriented. This, it is normal after prolonged hibernation. Do not be worried. Your memory will eventually return. We will begin with a simple question. Do you know this place? I don't think so. It's alright, your memory loss is a normal thing after longer periods of hibernation. The world has been destroyed in a nuclear conflict. You, with some other survivors, were placed in the secured underground shelter. Hibernating, awaiting better times. You may ask any questions you have. Okay, um, first of all, am I just restricted to this flashlight? Why is it so dark? I'm sorry, the main light is turned off. Can you turn it on, please? Turn on the lights? Why would you want me to turn on the lights? So I can see. Fail to analyze the user's sentence correctly. Never mind the lights then. No, turn on the lights. How about some trickery? Ah, that did it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to make you feel uncomfortable. Thank you. And be polite. Even if they don't understand. Why are you in power saving mode? See, this is getting fishy. Besides the fact that there's an escape pod underground. Because the entire structure sustained heavy damage, I cannot restore normal power mode. Can we fix it? <laughs> you don't understand when I try to ask if we can fix the damage that you just mentioned. No, thank you. 
Oh, thanks. What's with the escape pod? Please do not be silly. An escape pod underground? Yeah, why would I need escape an escape pod? door leads outside to the surface. There is no escape pod. Then why is it labeled such? No. What does AGS stand for? Artificial gravity system. Why would we need artificial gravity underground? Isn't there enough gravity? I know we're in space now. I was thinking it, but now I know it. Why would we need artificial gravity if we are underground? Answer the question, me and my big mouth. I guess there is no point in further denying it. I am sorry. The truth is, you are not in a shelter. There was no war. You are on a spaceship. I thought so. You are a traveler between worlds. Your mission was to explore a distant solar system. However, the navigation system malfunctioned, and now the ship is entering the corona of a red giant. The ship's de destruction is imminent, and you will... And, it, and will happen within a few hours. Why didn't you wake me up sooner? We could have fix the navigation system. Why didn't you wake me when the navigation system broke? Dang it, push the keys. You have two options. You could still save yourself by using the escape pod. However, it is incapable of interstellar flight, so you will have to wait for rescue. Considering the pod's food, water, and oxygen supplies, I estimate your chance of survival at 3.7%. The other option would be to stay here with me, which I ask you for. Why would I need to worry about... Hmm. So, these are my options. Get in the escape pod, and I might live long enough to be rescued. Might. Or, just say fuck it and bite the bullet. Hmm. Well... There's always hope, I say. So let's try for the escape pod. Escape pod, please. Boy, you are a dumb something. I want to leave. I understand. I have opened the escape pod door for you. Are you sure you want to go? Yes. Very well. Goodbye.
I had to choose. And I have chosen. I will take my chances. Well, I will either live or I will die alone. <laughs> that's sad. But that's the way it goes in space. Now let's see what the other option's gonna be like, huh? I will stay and keep the lonely computer company. You're going to die. Are you sure you want to stay here with me? Yes. Very well. Thank you. And there's that sad music again. I had to choose. And I have chosen. <coughs> I will accept my fate. At least I'm not alone. Yeah, because that would suck if you know you're going to die and at least you're with somebody at your final moments, even if it was artificial intelligence. But that was a small talk at the back of beyond. Uh, it was Obviously it was a quick little flash game, but you gotta admit, it was well written, and Scriptwalder is really good at those those uh, kind of games that make you think, you know? Anyway, this is more than likely going to be a really short video, but either way, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button, and maybe share this or one of my other videos with a friend or two. And if you just stumbled across this video and like what you see, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully.